Yes, my lovelies, I am looking knackerdated. I am the <laughs> incarnation <laughs> of a knackered mum. I have been suffering with a cold and not sleeping very well. And Chicago Fire is really, really addictive. Hey, so welcome, welcome back to Self Care Karen. Um, I'm here for you to do another empties video, very excited. I've got a lovely selection of body care, hair care, and some toiletries, and some skincare, and a bit of makeup, very little bit of makeup. So yeah, let's get into it. Right, so I'm gonna start off today with a toothpaste. This is Echo Denta, certified organic multifunctional toothpaste with hemp seed oil and that's the kind of cannabis kind of picture that you can see here the cannabis leaves um i got this oh it's very dirty i got this in the holland and barrett advent um they had one the year before as well i think it was like coconut oil um not my favorite toothpaste ever um but not the worst either um I didn't dare try this on my son because he likes the the fennel taste that we have of our kingfisher um but it was fine for me um although it's a bit of a pain having two toothpaste on the go so um yeah that only happens once a year otherwise just stick to my um floor uh what is it the kingfisher fennel fluoride toothpaste okay so this was okay but you know i didn't like see anything it says it's supposed to reduce sensitivity didn't really notice that happening okay um i cannot believe it's taken me so long to try this deodorant this is oh, again it's dirty mitchum and is this one is called the triple odor defense 48 hour Pro protection in powder fresh which is kind of like a kind of a sweet cotton smell if that makes any kind of sense um, there is loads left, I don't know if you can see that, but actually it really hurts now to apply it because this won't push it up any further and it's got a plastic rim so when you're sort of applying it, it, it actually kind of scrapes the skin and my armpits are really sensitive like I'm sure most people's are so yeah that is now a chuck but yeah I have... Ding dong ding! This is a public service announcement. Please don't miss out on this great offer. You can get 50% off your purchases at selfcarekaren.etsy.com by becoming a member of the SCK tribe. As a member, you'll get Self Care Karen news, inspirational messages and special offers. And when you sign up, you'll have access to a free meditation script, a minute of mindfulness. Look at the video description for more details. Ding dong ding! It's just falling on the floor great but anyway this i did like it um definitely kept me feeling nice and fresh which is good um i do find that sometimes deodorants uh, stop working this one was fine the whole way through for the, like a month so yeah really impressed apologies for the washing machine sound in the background but let's just take a moment to express gratitude and appreciation that my washing machine is now working again because a week after coming back from holiday it went <coughs> but it needed a new pump it's been fixed there was a massive blockage i must clean it very very regularly from now on and uh yeah hopefully it lasts for a while longer okay let's move on um makeup so i actually have had this open for a long while i got this i think i got this in a in body shop advent um this is called lash hero fiber extension mascara london jet zero one and it's one of those double ended mascaras one end is the fibers and this dried up i mean i i probably used it like once decided i didn't like the fibers and then just shoved it in the back of the drawer and when i went to restart using it again probably about eight months later on this had dried up but the mascara end, which is what I was interested in anyway, because I don't like putting the fibres on. Um, it, I, I just find that really irritating. The mascara end was still okay. So I, against my better judgment, because you know, once you've opened these things, you really should use them up quite quickly because of eye hygiene. I have been using this for probably about six weeks on and off. It's okay. Um, 
it is quite volumizing. I don't know if you can see. I've only got it on the top lashes. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't um, kind of bleed down or flake off, so that's fine. But I'm now. I just feel uncomfortable using it because I feel it's been open too long. So this is a chuck, even though there's still product in there. Okay, moving on to skincare. So I got these biodegradable cleansing eye makeup remover pads from Superdrug a little while back because the cleanser that I was using at the time, I can't remember what one it was. Anyway, it just didn't do anything for my eye makeup. So I got this kind of like to fill in the, well, not fill in the gap, to remove the eye makeup that the cleanser wasn't removing. And these work really, really well. I'm not, even though they say they're biodegradable, I'm not a fan of things that you chuck like I prefer to use cotton pads that I put a product on and then wash the cotton pads and reuse them um that said I'm just the, the pauses because I use baby wipes with my son still and um they do say they're biodegradable too but I I question how long it takes for them to really break down but anyway these were great I would definitely repurchase def for like a travel but I am um, I've gone back now to my go-to which is just using my cellar water on a reusable cotton pad to remove eye makeup when I need it when my cleanser is is not doing its job okay um, I did a tried and tested on Lizelle, so I reviewed this product, bought this product for that video. I'll put the link up here. Um, this is their hydrating cream mask. I used it up, although to be honest with you, I could probably I could probably break open the, the tube, but I don't want to because I'm just glad to see the back of this really not have I mean it's not like amazingly bad, it's not an epic fail, but I'm I just don't like the fact that you put it on, it's supposed to be moisturising, but it makes my skin tingle a bit, it makes it feel quite sensitive, and it doesn't leave my skin feeling super duper hydrated, so yeah, a bit of a waste of time there. I've got much, much better masks, so I've used much better masks. Okay, another empty from Boots, Boots Ingredients Hyaluronic Acid Moisturiser. Again, I've done a tried and tested on this series. I've also got the Bacuchiol, Bacuchiol Serum as an empty oh i've got a hair stuck here um love this range the hyaluronic acid moisturize, moisturizer was the fourth one that i had of the moisturizers and the one that i kind of least liked but now that i've used it just on its own to use it up i actually really like this and i, I think it's very difficult to distinguish between the different moisturizers this definitely feels like it's hydrating the serum is so soothing and comforting now bakuchi oil is like a, a plant derived alternative to retinol uh i don't know where it's uh blah, blah, blah. oh it doesn't actually say that there um but you can because it's not a um it's not a retinoid you can actually use it during the day and the night you don't have to be so worried about sun sensitivity although i always wear an spf and that's what i advise you to do too um did it miraculously remove all my fine lines no but i really enjoyed using this and as i said this range is really cool if you've not checked out my video on it then please do so okay i have a body lotion or what is this called yeah body lotion rich moisturizing it's nivea signature scent i adore nivea adore it this is really really nice on this has got um deep moisture serum and natural almond oil and vitamin e it feels very nourishing it's really inexpensive um it smells lovely yeah so i would definitely repurchase this in the future i am currently though testing out the boots ingredients um body care range so look out for that video if it's not gone up live already um and then i have three chucks okay so they're not empties they are still actually got a lot of product in them but i have decided to throw them away because i um tried out the boots ingredients hair care range there was a shampoo a conditioner and a repair serum that i tried and i'll link that video up here hopefully it's gone live um my my scheduling is is not often is not always in the order that i film anyway i um love the serum i think the serum is fantastic and so i just thought you know what i've got three other serums which i'm aren't fantastic 
what am I waiting for? I'm never going to use them up. They're probably out of their date anyway, so I'm just going to chuck them. So let me talk you through those. The first one is John Frieda Frizz Ease uh, Secret Agent Touch-Up Cream, Smooth Flyaways on Contact. It does actually do that, but um, what I don't like about this is that it does tend to add to the oil slick situation. And what's more, you can only use this with dry hair. It says to only use with dry hair and the Boots Ingredients Serum, you can use on wet hair or you can use on dry hair. Perfect, my kind of a product. This has got loads left in it. I don't know, I've had it for God knows how long. It's only 12 months. I've had it for probably 24, more maybe. So this is a chuck. Okay, second one is the Umberto Giannini No More Frizz Anti-Frizz Curl Serum instantly tames and shines this to me reminds me more of the john frieda kind of serum this isn't you know this is a touch-up cream but they have a serum and um yeah it feels very much like that and i have used quite you know more than half but it it doesn't really like i have a slight kink to my hair that in the right meteorological situation it actually is a, i get little ringlets um in parts it's kind of yeah not always and it depends on the length of the hair anyway i was kind of hoping this would like make that happen everywhere it didn't it does tame the the frizz though you can only use this on wet hair so again it's a little bit you know well i suppose i had this for dry and this for wet um but I didn't realise this when I bought this and then I was checking the ingredients. This has got a now banned ingredient in it. It's the first ingredient on the list. So it means it's really high quantity and that is cyclopentaxilicsane. This is a cyclical silicone. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I've spoken about this ad nauseum. It's a volatile silicone that you breathe in. So it's not about what goes on your skin. It kind of goes off into the atmosphere, parts of it. You breathe it in and it can impact your endocrine system and your and it can impact fertility and things like that. It's really nasty. That's why it's been banned in some products in the UK. I think it's been banned in the EU as well, but it's not been banned in all products because if it's in a product that you wash off, they are still allowing it, but obviously this isn't a wash off product. So if I was to try and buy this now, this ingredient shouldn't be in there. It could still be in there though, because what they said was they didn't have to remove the products from the shelf. They just had to sell them out anyway. I'm really pleased to be getting rid of this because I will just feel good that I won't be endangering anything. And it's not just you that it affects because other people can breathe it in and around you. So, yeah, I'm glad. So because of those two products that I wasn't that happy with, I bought this one, which is called Naughty, 97% natural to the rescue, cruelty free, no parabens, petrochemical sulfates and silicones. It's vegan friendly anti-frizz serum for dry and damaged hair with sweet almond and argan oil. This is almost full. This does not work on my hair. This leaves it feeling like straw. Okay, so this is going in the bin. Right, so that was it for this month. Thank you, sorry for the crazy hair. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember, you can find me in lots of different places. You'll see the handles coming up on the screen. Please like, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed today's video. And yeah, all that remains for me to say is remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon.